Hello friends, it's Shani, your YouTube noob friend. I'm back again and I promised you that I would show you some of my uh, my actual handbag collection. So uh, without further ado, we'll uh, leap right into it and uh, get jumping. So this here is my workhorse, one of my workhorses. It's a Derek Alexander bag. The charm was something that my mom gave me, which I thought was really quite lovely. Uh, the cool thing about this bag is, okay, the color, I love the color too. It's very neutral, um, but the, the sections that this thing has is pretty much insane. You've got this pocket here, this pocket here, you've got your larger pocket, you've got a zipper held pocket. Yeah, don't mind all the crap in there. You've got a zipper held pocket. On the opposite side of that, you also have another zipper held pocket, a little key thing if you want to. And on the other side of that zipper, inside, you have yet another opening, which has a lot. I've been using this one lately. That's why there's so much stuff in it. So I apologize. But, and then in the back, you've also got another small little kind of mini wallet holder. You've got uh, a little pen holder. And it's a large, uh, it's, you know, fairly cavernous. It's got a nice shoulder strap here and basically it has a little magnetic thing here that keeps the um, keep, keeps the shoulder straps together a little bit I and mean, it's not a very strong magnet and it's not so bad and it just kind of hangs kind of nicely off of the shoulder and uh, it also has a crossbody bag which is, is nice and sturdy. The hardware itself, Derek Alexander excels in the hardware. It's uh, got that nice kind of burnished silver, um, even the little, I don't know if you can see it here, but the, the little buttons. Uh, yeah, so there we go. And it may not be like a super fancy bag, but it's actually a really good bag for, for you know, kind of toting around if you're doing a lot of heavy, uh, heavy kind of stuff uh, that you're going to be carrying a lot of items, which generally I don't carry a lot of items. I basically have my sunglasses. I have my wallet, which is a small wallet. I have a my set of keys, my sunglasses, and maybe a little tiny shopping bag that's all kind of wound up and, and nicely compressed. So uh, I'm not a heavy, heavy usage person. So moving on, next bag. Uh, I fell in love with these when I was in uh, Albuquerque, New Mexico. Uh, I, I had never seen this style before, and uh, it's heavily, heavily em uh, embossed. But I kind of call these my dragon skin bags because the way the light hits them and the way they look, if you were actually to have... So these are crossbody bags. I like the, the, the shape of this. It's very cool. You can adjust the crossbody. It has small holes here, so you can adjust the height of it to get it to shoulder or crossbody. The color is super rich. The texture is pleasing to the touch. And let's see, what else do we have going on here? Why is this... Uh, so, and it has a partition. I love handbags with partitions because I can put my phone in there without getting it scratched up. And also, you know, there's a small little wallet section here. There's a little pen slot, which is there as well. It's got your center zip, so keeps everything secure. It's got a far zip and not that I'd ever use it, but it has one of these that you can kind of keep your keys in as well. The, so this is a stiff bag. And the only thing I don't like about it, though, is, is with this buckle, you have to really kind of push on it to get it to go. They could have done a nice uh, turnkey. would have been so much better. But, and this bag is, is awesome. Love it. So that's my, that was my second Brahmin bag that I ever bought. My dragon skin bag, as I call it. The most expensive bag that I've ever purchased. Can you guess? 
So this one here is a beaut. I love it. And my uh, strings are a little on the tight side here. Just a moment. Hopefully if I get some video editing tools, I'll be able to edit the struggle out. So I did a, a preview on this bag before uh, in another video of mine. So if you're kind of kind of curious about it, so I'm not going to go into too many details, but I mean, the bottom line is it's, it's the coach uh, T Rose rogue and uh, with snakeskin handles. And it really is snakeskin handles. It's the purse itself has gloved hand leather. It's got lovely copper feet. The strap has nice alternating colors when you turn turn the shoulder straps. It's a gorgeous bag. It's absolutely gorgeous. The inside, like the hardware again, as I mentioned before, with the previous rogues, I think a lot of coach quality lately is kind of dumping down the crapper. But uh, if you look at, like I said, how they've done attention to detail with the hardware, the brass hardware, uh, on one side of the rogue, you have this nice buttery soft glove tan leather. You have a card slot. On the other side, you have another, like a slip pocket and another uh, side that you can put that on. And the inside is uh, sort of a canvas type, uh, a canvas type material and you got the coach story tag inside there as well if you were curious this is one of their 1941 collection which basically means it's pretty damn good quality and the 1941 stuff can be found on the underside of the tag for this one there but yeah it's this beautiful chalk colored tea rose bag snakeskin handles Beautiful little tag, lovely bag. Do not regret betting, buying it, but um, a funny story is that this is the most expensive one I ever purchased. And this bad boy cost me about 800, which is bloody insane. But now, if you look at this on the retail site, they recently re-released it and they're charging $1,200 Canadian for it. It's absolutely, like there's no way, I would never have bought it for that price. So, moving on to a oldie, but one of my favorites. This one here is a slouchy kind of, I wouldn't call it a hobo, I guess it would be a kind of hobo bag, but you notice the beautiful kind of, it's like this soft suede, nice kind of sparkle pink. And it's got a side pocket here, side pocket here, which is not too bad. You can fit a phone in there. And it's got some nice hardware holding the, it was done by Mikowski. And uh, he was uh, with Kathy Van Zeelen, who used to make a lot of really fun and cool handbags. Has a little pocket slip in the back that you can put your keys in. And it's got a, <laughs> it's, there's a lot of stuff in there. This is stuffing, but it's huge. Like this bag is huge. It's got a zipper, uh, zipper security part for the center. And on the inside of this bag here, it has another side zip and it's got a little place where you can clip a pen and another little kind of pocket in there as well. And it's got kind of the traditional, it's got the kind of, you know, Mikowski kind of print, but literally like I, I go in there, I could lose my cat. I could literally put a cat, one of my cats in there. So I don't carry this one too much because it is, um, <laughs> Because it's huge so but it does fit snug, nice on the shoulders and it's a good little traveler um, had I known about protecting handbags better I would have used one of those uh, stain resistant sprays because there's been a bit of color transfer on the bottom unfortunately but uh, that does not lessen the love that I have for this handbag and uh, I've had this for close to 10 years now and uh, all of these bags that I have that I'm showing you, I plan to keep for at least that amount of time. So, so I'll just tuck this one back in this bag quickly. And we'll move onwards to my very first 
Brahmin bag. Which was, uh, I, I joke again, like it looks like dragon skin. <laughs> Isn't that cool? This will go with almost anything. Like you can see it up against my, well, you can see it up against my jeans. It would even go with jeans. Um, it's just kind of like a, a messenger bag. The straps initially with the, the Brahmin, because they're so heavily coated, they tend to feel very stiff. Uh, this one's been loosening up nice. Uh, it's the same thing with the body because it's so practically coated. Um, it doesn't have that kind of supple, delightful leather feel that a lot of people really like. Um, but I'm good with that because you got to have some bags that are good in the rain too, right? So that is about the width on the bottom. There's a good bit of space that you can can uh, carry in there. Uh, inner slip pocket where I keep my cell phone. Another side slip pocket. And another little pen thing. Canvas, uh, but very soft, almost satiny type uh, of material on the inside. And unfortunately, what's really vexed me though is the this thing wasn't squished down enough, so I basically lost the pull tab. So now I have to find a replacement for it, which is highly annoying. But again, adjustable straps. They have the little little nub, so with the with, that goes into the little hole. And so you can adjust the size crossbody, but it fits nice against the body and it holds exactly what you need to hold on a day out. So that was my very first Brahmin bag. And Dillard's is a horrible place if you're a purse addict because they have got amazing stuff there. So, <laughs> you know, this bag, it's cheap as hell, but it is just so cheery and it's sparkly. And you know what? It goes with a couple of my denim dresses and stuff. It, the, the maker is uh, Mano Chio, and it has a back slip pocket with a canvas. And the interior has got the same sort of canvas. Uh, it's got a slip pocket here, a slip pocket there, a zip pocket to secure some stuff. And again, the body is just perfect enough to hold your uh, sunglasses, wallet, uh, lipstick, whatever. And uh, it comes with an adjustable, very adjustable, denim based strap. So I love this. Now, my favorite handbag out of all of my handbags, this here was my first coach bag, I think, that I ever bought. Like the actual retail coach bag. And it is still my favorite handbag. Is that not gorgeous? You got your Swarovski crystals, your beautiful metallic metal. You've got your matte black hardware, beautiful zippers on the back, and very similar in design to the, but, uh, hang on here, pull out all the stuffing just so you can get a better look. So cool thing about this one is, is with some other rogues is that you have the handles that I just tuck in when I'm not using it to carry by hand but if you wanted to carry it by hand you've got this here these detach so you don't have to have them with you and again they have that black on one side kind of burgundy on the other side nice little twist the inside of this one has got kind of like a wine burgundy uh, kind of like a suede the inside is the canvas it's got the story tag nice good hardware inner zip inner button snap nice little leather um, bit that covers over the button snap super super hardware again if you look at this and you compare it with the other the t t rose bag that i have and again the beautiful suede burgundy 
color. It's just a gorgeous bag and it's kind of softened it up a little bit now through, through use, which is great. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely one of my favorites. That one was initially the most expensive bag I'd ever bought at $500 half price retail. I could not pass that up. And again, I do not regret buying it. Absolutely love it. And I'll just put this aside for now and keep it rolling. So. All right, so moving on. Next bag, Botkie or Botkir. I'm not quite sure how they pronounce it. I'm assuming it's Italian. It's got the same sort of shimmer suede that uh, that the uh, pink Mikowski one that I had had. It's got kind of unique little hardware nubbies on it. A little buckle here that you can kind of lift up. I just kind of stick my phone in there. It's magnetically clipped. It has three different ways you can hold this. One by hand. They also have a shoulder type strap that resembles the coach bag that I just showed you, which I don't have attached to it. And then you've got your um, safety belt type material. And that is comfortable, comfortable, comfortable. This bag squishes nice against the body. It's got that kind of, it's sort of a messenger style bag as well. The hardware, um, it, the hardware is okay. It, it's not bad. Um, the interior of the bag. Out quickly. All right. So the interior of the bag is is sort of a canvas. You've got your zipped interior. You've got a little slip pocket. You've got a couple of card carrier case um, with the Batkier name. And on the other side, you have another little slip case or slip uh, pocket and a pen holder and a big cavernous cavernous uh, type handbag but it, it tucks against the body so it doesn't look bulky which is great and then you've got the the tag in there as well so stop that in there quickly zip that up the only thing i didn't like about this was that the the uh, the finishing on the edges was a little shitty there's a bit kind of cracky a little dried so i tried to moisturize it but uh the, yeah the finish the detail and the finish of this is not top notch so but i still love the bag it's uh it's very comfortable and uh, it's great for traveling you can sling it across the body it flattens up nice <clears throat> a little coach outlet bag Pink lemonade, nothing to go over too much details. Love the color. Cute little uh, tag that my mom got me. Uh, or little, uh, what the hell are these things called? Charm, bag charm. Front slip pocket. Uh, and then just basically you're, you got a little slip pocket inside like that. And it's just a messenger bag. Cross body, adjustable straps. Perfect for summer and also perfect for inclement weather. Not all things can be summer, my friends. So, plaid, love plaid. Uh, plaid Coach Retail, I think last season or the season before, released uh, a bunch of plaid bags, but you know what? I just wasn't in love with it. And for the price that they were asking, um, I wasn't impressed. Again, same thing, you know, your front pocket, silver motif, um, same sort of slip pocket done in black and so yeah fall fall bag for inclement weather messenger style I am not a tote girl I bought this a long time ago but this is this is this is as close as I'm ever gonna get to a tote so that is huge. It's all leather. These hardware balls 
or like heavy, the hardware on this thing <laughs> has to be substantial because the bag is is super weighty. But it's kind of cool still. Got your magnetic clip to get in. This beautiful satin kind of finish, right? It's done by Pulicati, made in Italy, genuine leather. Uh, oh, of course, genuine leather, as we all know. Oh, yeah, inner pocket. Genuine leather does not mean the best quality leather, right? Um, know, know your leather types, but uh, yes, and a beautiful satin interior. On the other side, there's a little short slip pocket and another little, a little slip pocket there as well. But uh, I've uh, oiled these things and I keep, uh, keep my handbags in, in good condition. So I've had this thing for you know, 15 years, give or take, and it's still, still doing great. And I think we have come to my last, but definitely not least, handbag. I used to hate Kate Spade bags. Oh, actually, it's not the last one. I think I had another one. Where, where did it go? Where did it go? Hang on. Okay, so you remember how I said I was a YouTube noob? This is a, this is the continuation. Instead of hitting pause, I actually hit stop, and I'm not going to go through another 16 minute video uh, to uh, just to correct my myself. So either I'll be able to find a free pair of software and, and mash it, or here it is. <clears throat> my husband's laughing at me in the background. So this here I bought just to go with uh, my uniform. I'm in the Canadian Armed Forces and we have to have kind of a modest handbag. So I bought this for 99 bucks at the outlet. The leather actually is it's quite nice, you know, pebbled leather. Um, I didn't think that I would kind of like it as much as I do, but it is amazing bag. So this thing is perfect for, for separating stuff, right? So you got a pocket here which I can keep my phone without it getting scratched up. I've got uh, another pocket that I can have my sunglasses and another one that I can have my car keys and wallet. So this thing here is just like, it's a perfect little crossbody shoulder bag from Kate Spade Outlet that is actually getting a lot more use um, and is a lot more mighty than it looks to be. Now, last but not least, my first retail Kate Spade bag. And, and as, as I was saying in the previous video, I used to hate Kate Spade. Um, I always thought that their stuff was kind of ridiculous, but it seems that they're the only handbag company now that seems to release handbags with a sense of whimsy and fun to them. So this one here, and of course I'm not, I'm not a puffy kind of gal. This is not my usual modus operandi, right? But when I saw this, and it's a lamb leather, so it's really soft. It's got a beautiful crossbody strap to it. Shoulder crossbody strap. Subtle logo. The inside has got a nice, it feels like I said lamb leather. And I mean, there's not a lot of room in there. Um, there's a little bit of a slip pocket there's just enough room, literally. There's just enough room to pile my stuff. Sunglasses, wallet, small wallet, keys, and... Um, keys, wallet, sunglasses, and my cell phone. Because if I can't fit my cell phone, I don't take it. So, and it also has a little zip pocket here. Magnetically closed. It's called the Boxy. Boxy, but good. And it's also got this really, really sweet strap that goes as hand carry and I just thought that was a cute little uh, <laughs> a cute little charm but uh, yeah so you've got a beautiful hand hand carry strap so this bag is wonderful stands out I do not regret it cost me about 500 bucks much to the frowning of my husband but um, again this is stuff that I plan on keeping in my collection using and wearing for decades to come or at least you know till I get too poor and have to sell it all. Video cut attachment number three. So anyways, thank you very much for coming along with me and, and sharing my handbag collection. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, wish me luck splicing this uh, Frankenstein video that I've created. Uh, and see you again next video. Maybe I'll do my Flubog shoe collection. Bye.